Hey there, classic rock lovers, and welcome to Classic Reviews, where we review classic rock albums, and today we have an exciting treat for you. So get ready for an epic CD review that will hopefully leave you craving to listen to this band. CD we will be reviewing will be a live album by the rock band UFO. So this legendary live album came out in January 1979, and the songs are from a few shows the band did in America in October 1978. The 13 song track listing features songs from the Phenomenon album which came out in 1974 until the Obsession album which came out in 1978. And not only does it feature some rather wacky album covers with screaming faces, it is also said to be the album that made legendary lead guitarist Michael Schenker leave the band. There was tensions between Michael Schenker and the other members of the band anyway at this point, but I think things came to a head when mixing this live album, as Michael apparently refused to record guitar overdubs, and that he wasn't happy with some of the live performances that got hit to be on the album, and he reckons that they could have used better tapes. The track listing on this CD is like the track listing on the original record. All that might be worth mentioning, as the 1999 reissue features a longer track listing in a different order and a deluxe edition of this album came out in 2020. So with the track by track, not, I'm going to try not to go into loads of detail like I normally would over the background or what the song means etc, as this is a live album. So I'm going to focus more on the live performances themselves, and I'm going to mention that I have done a review on a UFO Greatest Hit CD, so please check that out. The opening song of this live CD is called Natural Thing, this riff-infested rocker, which also opens the 1976 album No Heavy Petting, is dominated with crunchy guitar riffs and some heavy drumming, and it's quite an easy song to sing along to, too. For the second song, we sing into the song Out in the Street. This rather lavishly arranged song is from 1975's Fawcett album, and you could say it's one of the more soft, softer songs on this CD, as the song is a bit more piano dominant. But when it comes to the chorus, that's where Michael Schenger's guitar parts kick into overdrive. The third song of this live CD is the opening track from the 1978 Obsession album, and it's the song called Only You Can Rock Me. This is an upbeat and catchy song that is rather keyboard driven, with Paul Raymond's Hammond organ dominating the verses and chorus. But both him and Michael Schenker have their own solo parts in this live performance, with the lead guitarist getting a far longer solo spot. Track number four is UFO's signature song from the 1974 Phenomenon album, and it's the, it's the song called Doctor Doctor. This live performance starts, starts off rather sensitively with some gentle keyboard and guitar playing from Paul Raymond and Michael Schenker, before the song starts to get more and more intense and really explode into life. This is my favourite song off this album and favourite UFO song overall. It's a crowd-pleasing anthem with a rather simple arrangement. For the fifth song on this live CD, we go to the Fawcett album for the song Mother Mary. Now, this song is actually a studio recording with some overdubbed crowd noises, and there is a lot of great musicianship all round, really. Good vocal from Phil Mogg, great bass playing by Pete Way, not to mention Michael Schenker's memorable guitar riff. Staying on the Fawcett, the Fawcett album for the sixth song on this live album, and it's the song called This Kids. Like with the previous song, this is a studio recording with overdubbed crowd noises, and it's a Led Zeppelin-esque song that features some nice piano playing and great drum playing. Not to mention Michael Schenker's guitar solo pretty much taking up the second half of the song. Track Lucky Number 7 is one of UFO's best songs, and it's the song called Love to Love. Not only is this song different to most of the other songs on this live album, it's a great live performance. It starts with a gorgeous piano intro, but is soon joined by Pete Way and Michael Schenker. And while the verses highlight Paul Raymond's excellent keyboard abilities, you do get to listen to a dramatic guitar solo by the legendary Michael Schenker. Track number 8 is another one of UFO's best songs, and it's the title track from the 1977 album Lights Out. This is a blistering and bombastic live performance of this heavier track, and it's because of songs like Lights Out that heavy bands like Iron Maiden cite them as an influence. Not only is the rhythm section tight as, this live performance also features a hell of an outro solo. 
Track number nine is another one of UFO's main songs, and it's the song called Rock Bottom, which is from the Phenomenon album. If you thought the original studio recording was a long, epic song, then this live version is even more longer and epic. On the original Strangers of the Night release, it's listed as being over 11 minutes long, but with this CD, the last couple minutes of the song is the start of track 10. The only bad thing about this live track is that I think this is what made Michael Schenker want to quit the band, as there was a big disagreement over which performance of Rock Bottom should have been put on this album. And Schenker basically said that this big guitar solo wasn't the best one they could have picked. Anyway, back to the performance itself. There is a lot going on throughout this song. Phil Mogg wows away while there are many guitar solos and changes in tempo. Track 10, after about 2 minutes 10 seconds, is the song Too Hot To Handle. This is the opening track of the Lights Out album, and it's a good song with a good chorus. And drummer Andy Parker really shines with his heavy drum playing on this live performance. The third to last song on this CD is the song I'm A Loser, off the No Heavy Petting album. Compared to other UFO songs, this is a more gentle song, with the verses being more piano dominant, while the guitars explode when the chorus starts. And the song closes on a guitar solo, which also features brief piano interjections. The second to last song on this live CD is the song Let It Roll, which is off the Fawcett album. This is a rhythm heavy song with the drums and electric piano being the main focus in the verses. The middle of the song features a softer instrumental section, which features some great interplay between Michael Schenker and Paul Raymond. And that soft instrumental section gradually builds up into how the song started off. Staying on the Fawcett album for UFO's typical concert closer, it's the song called Shoot Shoot. Not too much I can say about this live song really. The loose groove of the song closes the album well and you do get a catchy little riff just after the song's title. So that's the track by track done and I have to say that all the live performances on this album are so tight and spot on. They are all great live performances and of course my favourite song on here is Doctor Doctor and both the original studio recording and this live track are as great as each other really. The same could be said for the songs Love to Love and Lights Out but you can't diss the live version of Rock Bottom on here either with that epic guitar solo. So with all that in mind, I can see why this is regarded as one of the greatest live albums of all time. Guitar legend Slash says that this is his favourite live album, while another legendary guitarist in the form of Tom Morello puts this in his top 10 metal albums. Not to mention legendary bassist Steve Harris is another admirer of this album. Plus Kerrang! magazine puts this in their 100 greatest metal albums, which is quite a big thing consider considering that that it's a live album. So it's no wonder that many bands, including the likes of Judas Priest, Megadeth, Guns N' Roses, Europe and Dokken, to name a few, consider the band's UFO as an influence. So that's a wrap, folks. We've reached the end of our captivating CD review journey. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming reviews, etc. Trust me, you don't want to miss them. This is a classic reviews. Check out the two videos at the end, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.